original form. He expands himself into his four-armed form, known as Naraj, or Vishnu. And thus, he presides over all the Vaikuntha planets. Once, on one of these blissful Vaikuntha planets, two gatekeepers of Lord Naraya, known as Jai and Vijay, were pondering how they could better serve the Lord. Sometimes, the Lord wishes to fight. But who can fight with the Lord except for one of his confidential associates? How can we ascend to the material world to please the Lord's desires to fight? Once you have achieved residency in Vaikuntha, you cannot descend to the material world. The bodies of the residents of Vaikuntha are completely spiritual, having nothing to do with the material bodies, life heirs, or senses. When the Lord travels down to the material world, He goes there through the agency of the eternal potency. And likewise, when the devotees and associates of the Lord travel down to the material universes, they go through the, through the action of the spiritual energy. We know the Lord desires to fight, but we cannot simply act like demons. We must truly become demons. Yes, how can we truly become demons? The sons of Brahma, who are known as the Kumaras, came to visit Lord Narayan the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Kumaras are great sages and are always seen traveling together throughout the universes. Although they are many thousands of years old, they appear as only small boys of about five or six. In this way, the Kumaras came to pay their respects to Lord Narayan and his beautiful palace of Touchstone. Stop! Not just anyone can enter into the palaces of Lord Narayan. You must have proper purification and be of great quality. My dear boys, great sages and mystics perform austerities for thousands of years just to catch a glimpse of the feet of Lord Narayan. You boys could not have qualified yourselves in these processes. You must go home. Yes, go back home. Come back in a few thousand years. We <laughs> clouds entered the palace. We wish you Lord Narayan. <laughs> For this is justice, we curse you both to take birth in the material world and to death. <laughs> They were sent down, down, through the eight layers of material covering. Down, down, false ego, intelligence, mind. Down they went, plummeting, hurtling, down through ether, air, fire, and water, and earth, until they reached this material universe. It is night, and the wind is howling. And from the sky, torrents of blood and pus are falling. The whole planet is shaking, and tremors are causing the ground to crack open. This night, a terrible demon is being born. And this is causing severe disturbances throughout the universe. His name is Hiranyakashipu. From his very birth, Hiranyakashipu was a great demon who wanted more material wealth and power than anyone else. For 125 celestial years, he performed severe austerities by standing on the tips of his toes. He became more and more powerful until it looked as if he would destroy the entire universe. Finally, the demigods begged Lord Brahma to come down to Earth and stop him from creating further destruction.
It's going to cost up a million. Please, get up. I have been very much astonished to see your endurance. It's like being eaten and bitten by all kinds of worms and ants. You are keeping your life air circulating within your bones. <laughs> Certainly, this is wonderful. Even saving persons like Prigo, born previously, we cannot perform such severe austerities, nor will anyone in the future be able to do so. You are now perfect in the performance of your austerities, and therefore, you may ask me whatever you desire, and I shall try to fulfill your wish. I offer my obeisances to the original personality in this universe, Lord Rama who's cognizant, you can apply his mind and realize the intelligence in creating this cosmic manifestation. You are the supreme soul, the super soul of all the entities. You are beginningless, endless, and all missing, beyond, beyond the limits of time and space. Oh my Lord, O oh best of givers of benedictions, if you will kindly grant the benediction I desire, please grant me that I will never be killed by any of the living entities created by you. Oh, Hiranyakashi, this benediction I cannot give you. For you see, even I must die. Please, ask for something else. Then grant me this that I may never be killed in the sky or on the ground. Yes, grant me this, that I may never be killed during the day or during the night. That's all right. And grant me this, that I may never be killed by any weapon. I can Grant me this, that I may never be killed inside or outside. Of course, that's all right. <laughs> Grant me this, that I may never be killed by a man or a beast. Yes, give me soul lordship over all the entities and desire Give me all the glories obtained by that position. Furthermore, give me all the mystic powers obtained by long austerities and the practices of yoga, for these cannot be lost of any kind. Oh, Haranyakashi these benedictions you have asked for me are difficult to attain for most men. Nonetheless, so my son, I shall grant them to you, although they are generally not available. Now I must take my leave. Good day. Blessings. Now I'm immortal. I'm immortal. Let me show you that close your course. the entire universe. Indeed, that great demon conquered all the planets in the three worlds, upper, middle, and lower. Meanwhile, the demigods became overwhelmed with fear, for Hiranyakashipu's power was spreading rapidly throughout the universe, endangering the residents of the heavenly planets. And so, they kidnapped his pregnant wife, Kayadu. They were planning on executing her child, believing the child to be a greater demon than his father. 
just that, Garner Moody entered playing his eternal Vina and singing. Thank <laughs> you. 